back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing this glitter cut crease and nude lip look with you guys. I'm going to teach you how to do it. I'm really excited to share this look with you guys. I don't do cut creases very often. I feel like whenever I would do them, I just would not really care for how they turned out on me. I just felt like that wasn't my cup of tea. That wasn't something that I was really good at. But I have been trying to do them more and I really, really like how this cut crease turned out. It's very glam, it's very glittery, and you can't go wrong with that. So I am really excited to share this look with you guys. I hope that you enjoy this look. And I know the cut creases, like in the beginning, it can be so frustrating. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I first started trying to do them, I almost cried because I could not get them. And you should see the picture that I have of when I first started trying cut creases. It was really sad, but I hope that this video helps you guys, especially if you're trying to get the hang of cut creases. So um, I'm still even trying to completely learn and master the cut crease, but I hope that this will help you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy. We will be starting off with the eyes today. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair, and I'm blending that all over my eyelids with my Damp Beauty Blender. This is going to act as an eyelid primer, and it's going to keep our eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day, so that is a really good thing. You do not want your eyeshadow to crease. Going into Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm grabbing white chocolate, and I'm applying that all over the eyelids to set the concealer, and that will prevent it from creasing, and it will also help us to blend a little bit easier. Going into Salted Caramel on a Sigma E40, I'm blending this color right above my natural crease and I'm blending this shadow in the shape that I want my cut crease to be. So blend this color right above your natural crease and also wing out the eyeshadow as well. Going into Milk Chocolate from the Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going over the area where I put Salted Caramel. I'm just using a smaller brush so I can really start to map out and define the crease and get the shape of the cut crease that I want. So I'm just putting that above my natural crease. Still using Milk Chocolate, I switched over to a Sigma E35 Tapered Blending. I wanted to blend out this um, area of the crease and also add a little bit more definition to the crease as well. I just wanted to use a brush that was a little bit more precise, but it's going to buff out the harsh edges of the eyeshadow as well. Now moving on to the shade Semi Sweet, I'm blending that in my crease with a Sigma E25 blending brush. This is a shade that is really going to start defining our crease, so that is why I used a smaller brush in this area. Still going above my natural crease area, I'm just mapping out the area and the shape that I want my cut crease to be, and then switching over to a Sigma E35 blending brush, I'm buffing out the edges of that eyeshadow as well to make sure that everything stays blended. Moving on to Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette, I'm using Blackout, my most favorite black eyeshadow of all time, and on a Sigma E65 small ankle brush, I'm going to start mapping out the crease and what shape that I want the cut crease to be. This doesn't have to be perfect, but please try to make this line as clean as possible, and of course the line will differ from each person because we all have different eye shapes, but whatever works best for you. Now I'm going back into Milk Chocolate and with a Sigma a25 blending brush I'm just going to buff out that black line to make sure that it's not harsh and that it is blended now taking blackout from urban decay again I'm using a e Sigma e25 blending brush and I'm grabbing the smallest amount of product possible and I'm just running that through the crease I'm actually running it over the line that we drew I want to add a little bit more intensity there so I just grabbed the smallest amount possible because this eyeshadow is so pigmented Taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair on a Wet n Wild concealer brush, I'm just going to start cutting the crease. Now what I like to do is just take lots of concealer and put it on the eyelids and then gradually build up and go up higher. So I mean, of course it will differ from each person, again, because we all have different eye shapes. So whatever works for you and whatever suits your eye shape best, but I just basically go underneath the edge of the line of our cut crease to make sure that it makes it just, you know, curves with our natural eye shape, if that makes sense. Um, then I went ahead with a Q-tip and cleaned up the edges of that eyeshadow. Going into Urban Decay's Blackout Shadow again on a Sigma E65 small angled brush. I'm just going to redefine that black line. I'm just lightly going, you know, going along that line. If you do mess up, you can go back in with concealer. Now taking Too Faced Milk Chocolate again on a Sigma. 
E25, I'm going to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow to make sure everything stays nice and blended. Now going into Milk Chocolate, I'm just going to go ahead and set the concealer to make sure that it won't crease. Although we will be applying glitter, the concealer will still be able to crease, so you want to make sure that you set that. Going into NYX um, Face and Body Glitter Primer, I'm just going to apply a little bit on my finger and then apply it over my entire eyelid. So now going into NYX Face and Body Glitter in Crystal, and I'm using a wet flat shader brush. I'm applying this all over the eyelids. Um, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I'm just applying it, and I just apply it up to our crease lines. And then I once again went ahead and cleaned up the edges of the eyeshadow because I did go a little bit crazy with the glitter, but no big deal. Going into Urban Decay's Blackout Shadow, again on a Sigma E65 small angle, I wanted to go back and redefine that crease line once again. Um, then I went ahead and did eyeliner. I used my NYC liquid eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much. I started in the inner corner, made my way out, and I just did my eyeliner based on the line of the cut crease. I wanted it to run parallel with it and have the basically the same kind of shape, so I went ahead and just followed along with that cut crease line to make sure that they both ran along nicely and parallel to each other. Now going into lashes, I'm using my Ardell Wispy Lashes, and I really am liking these. They're so lightweight and they don't bother me, and and I just really, really love them. Moving on to the face, I'm priming my face with the Milani's Prime Light um, Foundation Primer. This is going to give me a luminous finish, and I actually really like this. I haven't really done a comparison yet, but if you really like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter but are on a budget, you may want to try this because it does give you a nice luminous finish. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever. Ultra HD foundation stick. I'm in the shade Y225 and I'm just applying this all over my face. This will give you medium to full coverage and I felt like a flawless face today. When do I not? So I'm going to blend this all over my face with my damp beauty blender. And I did this off camera but I did go back and apply a little bit more product because I needed a little bit more coverage today. So I went ahead and applied a little bit more. Going into Maybelline's color corrector, this is in the green shade. This is going to cancel out any redness. I put this over a few blemishes and then patted it in with my finger to be covered. For concealer, I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and on my two blemishes to cover up the greenness that has been left on my face. You definitely want to cover any like color corrector like a green one with a concealer and I'm just blending this out with my damp beauty blender Now I'm moving over to Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. I wanted to add a little bit more illumination underneath the eyes and just highlight a little bit all over the face. So I went ahead and just blended that out with my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm not sure why I went in with two concealers, but I felt like doing a little bit of mixing up today. So I went ahead and just mixed up some concealers. So going ahead and just blending that in with my Damp Beauty Blender. To set my concealer, I'll be using my Airspun Translucent Face Powder and Translucent Extra Coverage. I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes to set the concealer and make sure that it stays in place all day. I didn't apply a very large amount like I usually do, but I just did a light amount of baking today. And then I went ahead and applied that on the top of the nose and on the chin as well. Now I'm taking a very light amount of my translucent powder on a Sigma F25 tapered face and I'm just going to set the sides of my face and the forehead. I just want to set the foundation so that it won't 
fade throughout the day and go away. Now I'm going to line the waterline. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner in Zero. I didn't go too heavy with this because I feel like they can sometimes drown out the eyes if you are really heavy handed with it. So I just really focus this on the outer waterline and just release the pressure that I put when I as I worked my way inwards to the inner waterline. Going back into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm using Milk Chocolate and Semi Sweet. And on a Sigma E70 medium angled shading brush, I'm going to just smoke out the bottom lash line. I didn't want to go into the black eyeshadow just because the lids were, I mean, they just had a lot going on. So I just wanted to leave the bottom lash line a little bit light. And then going in with a Morphe F25 tapered face, I'm going to just wait all the extra translucent powder. And then going back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam. I'm going to highlight the bridge of the nose and also the uh, tip of the nose with a Sigma E45 tapered blending brush. Now I'm going into my Tarte Color Wheel Blush Palette. I'm using the shade Iconic. And on a Sigma F30 large powder, I'm going to apply this blush. I like using big fluffy brushes because I feel like they just apply the blush very evenly and it's not a very it's not a very small br brush where it applies it in a small circle in an area where it's hard to blend out but I feel like the fluffy brushes are just great to use for blush. So now for the lips I'll be using my NYX Suede uh, Lip Liner in London and then going back into the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Bahama Beige. I love this nude lip combo. It's so beautiful and I love it. It's just perfect for my skin tone. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend my lashes together with the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I'm just going to blend the lashes together with my false lashes and then line um, or apply some mascara on the bottom lash line as well. Alright everyone, that completes it for this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that it was easy and informative and I was very descriptive for you guys because I know cut creases can sometimes, well they are a struggle they are something that's a little bit hard but i feel like in the end it's just so worth it so i hope that you guys enjoy i love you so much please don't forget to subscribe there's a button on the screen where you can easily do so and don't forget to comment down any video suggestions or requests that you may have down below i would love to hear you guys feedback and what you would like to see on my channel i hope you enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video bye